Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, today I think we are going to do... Uh, we were just talking to Perry Pippin and he was talking about how he wants us to make a delivery for him. He wants us to deliver some invisibility potions to Fatima Luang. Uh, let's see if he goes over it again. What can I do for you today? Oh, no. He doesn't say anything else about it. I okay. hope to see you again. Farewell for now. So she's... Let's go to the map. World map. So she's... Over by Keen Bridge. She's way over here. So if we could just... Do we have a... Yeah, we have a flu flame. That'd be easy to travel to. Yeah. And then we'll travel there. Get this out of the way real quick. Flu flames are so nice, guys. Please do not forget to go around and have those. There are many that I still have yet to get. I know I I pass many of them and don't don't even light them. Um but flu flames help out so much. But the, it, it's not as big of a deal once you get your broom because sure, you can fly around pretty quickly. Like but I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Revelio. Uh, it didn't light up the aspects of the Merlin trial, so I'm Pippin confused. Been here by now. No, because he thinks you're an annoying little fartling. He told me so. I was trying to get him to tell it to my viewers, but he wouldn't repeat himself. Always late, that Pippin. He doesn't Madeline like you, lady. You're crazy. I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Well, you're did annoying. He have them for him as well. Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Wow. He wasn't joking. He said she's always just complaining about his quality, yet she's always constantly brewing potions. Or ordering potions from him. What it sounds like to me is that she has a crush on him. And she li just likes to make conversation with him. And she doesn't know what else to talk about. So she just creates conflict. Yeah, why did you buy why them? Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Then if you're not satisfied with the potions yourself, why do you keep selling them, you twiddly dink? Here are the potions, Here are you the bum. Potions you requested. Shut up! You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. You ordered three. If I drink one, you'll only get two, lady. That's kind of how math works. <sighs> Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Oh, shut up, you little fart face. Drink an invisibility potion. Ah! I hate that. I have things assigned and I forget you have to hold tab in order to do it. Invisibility potion.
Yeah, how do you like that, you butt monkey? That lasted for half a second. Let me talk to her. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not such chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Oh my gosh, she's annoying. I don't care about her customers. This lady's a what do they mean? I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? Anything decent? What are we looking for today? Pooty garbage. Yeah, you're complaining and you got diddly squat, lady. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. Do ya? Give me money, you bum. What a poop. Go teleport back to Pippin and. Tell him she's still a freaking fart face. She is a risty, stinky butt monkey. She made me drink one of the potions, Pepin. Cozy than Hogsmeade. I didn't want to. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. I delivered the potions to Fatima Lawang. I delivered the potions to Fatima Lawang. Very good. Lawang. And uh, did I've she cause any wrong. trouble? Yeah. She's a butt monkey. I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. I'd like an additional fee. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Give me the money! 500! Yes! That was worth it. Even though she's a forfeit million. Get me out of your shop, you butt. Actually, did you replenish? What can, can I, I do for you today? Replenish your stuff, you butt. I hope to see you again. Farewell Garbage. Garbage, good man. Let's see if there's another quick little quest. We can do. We got so many things to do. Quests. What kind of quest? All oh, the butterflies. Conjuration spellcraft. Day to know. Something I don't feel like doing. Ghost of our love. Huh. Maybe we go talk to Mr. Fig real quick. Professor Fig. Fig Newton. Teleport. Hogwarts. I love this game. It is so fun.
There's a lot to do on this freaking game, guys. So much. I think in one of my videos, if I remember correctly, I said I was maybe halfway done. I think I, I think that's a lie. I think I'm maybe a third, maybe. If that, there's just so many things, so many side quests. I mean, if I was just doing main story missions, I'd be a lot closer, but I'm not one who likes to rush through great games. I like to explore and check things out. I was hoping Hello? to see you. Will you know? Tell me You're your back. secrets. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt and... You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting to say yes. the... Yes. And then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. Just, I went just there sum and it right up. Next to Jackdaw's skeleton. He doesn't I even know every detail. Pages. You found the pages. I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not. Huh. It's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. Oh, yeah, because we went through all that maze. Like, you, you guys remember a couple episodes ago? I, you had to go through that area and fight, like, a bajillion freaking spiders. What the... This it. The room is called the map chamber, by the way. And a portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Is that not Intrepid it? travelers, the both of you. Keep your wits about you. Usually there's like a flame on him. Why does that one not look lit? Is it just a glitch? Oh, what's going to happen now? It was beneath us all this time. Mm. Are we going to actually go down and do this? The book on the thingy. This mm, light sparkles. Or they just like steal the book, run off with it. Then we don't know their dirty little secrets. What? What is going on? A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. So it's just another map? Oh, it's chilly. Turn on my heater. Goosebumps. Ooh. If only you were here to see this. What? If only you were here to see this? Is 
is he talking to himself or is he just a psycho? Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this one <laughs> as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location oh, of each of your four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall give me a, the pensive I'm ready. you viewed in I'm my pumped. vaulting Gringotts? Um, do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Green Gods? That was like so long ago. But isn't that the one where he like puts the wand to his head and boom, like worm juice comes out of his head or whatever? I you and your friend Charles spoke of the port key. And of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the Keepers. A designation we gave ourselves centuries ago. In light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts. Everything in the vault, the restricted section. Finding this room... None of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey. Of course. But they were not trials themselves. The fact that no, you had I just come had to fight 20,000 spiders. Well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces Traces of a powerful, dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your oh, considerable I didn't even skill get shoes? and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? Go back to the floor, man! Mm. I know that tower. It's not far. Yeah, that's you the one we flew around with whatever the guy's name was when you were learning to fly. You may have seen it yourself, yeah, while flying around on my broom. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. Do you know anything about the tower? You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. Well, that's how magic kind of works. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful and do not tell anyone where you're going. I'm not a blabbermouth, man. Who do you think I am? Wow, look at this freaking... Look at the... Freaking... 
floor mat. Dang, that's crazy. It's time you learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Everyone is like, here, you can do this. But do this laundry list of other crap beforehand. How about no? And you just teach me the freaking spell. There's an idea. I've always said this. Well, I think I'm going to leave this one here. Ugh. Huh. Yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. We're going to keep playing this game. And go on all sorts of weird adventures. So, until next time. Bye.